A dummy. The Chinese. A terrorist. I'm Mel, the son of a carpenter Mary. They had a carpenter worked on skyscrapers. My Marianne. I am the son of a carpenter Mary. I get to make parables. And this is my Tommy parable series about Tommy the no-arm Chinese fellow. How did he get to be missing both arms? Being blindly obedient. They love that in our fictional. The streets. The, the oriental streets. The Chinese unseen business to be specific. Pick up your phone and make that video only you can make about the unseen business. The streets. Yeah, our fiction. Anyway, uh, Tommy was told to stick his right arm into a wood chipper. They always have a wood chipper around those Chinese streets. And he slowly fed that right arm into the wood chipper, the left arm. Saw what was going on with the right arm and wisely jumped off. Smart thing to do if you're an arm or anything that can resemble an arm. Remember, the son of a carpenter Mary's parables are wrapped in symbolism. So if you see something bad happening to somebody who is the right arm to your, you being a left arm, don't let it happen to you. Jump off. Tommy, however, got a nice promotion out of it. And he, uh, he also uh, got his girlfriend Rhea out of it. He's always been scaly. He always talks with a horse lisp. He likes to stick his tongue out a lot. I told you he was Chinese. And uh, now that he's missing both arms, he really does a very mean snake dance. And that's how he won Rhea's heart, snaked his way in between her and whoever she was dancing with. He's been there ever since. Now we pick up with this parable as Tommy's going into work and it's going to be one of those three stooges days because he's had a bad weekend. As he would explain to his employees and later to Al the bartender, Maria went to visit her mother. She's making some big plans for something. And Leah at work has said, you're married? And Tommy said, no, we're not getting married. Yeah, I told you all about that. Uh, they went to the masquerade party as uh, a ventriloquist and the dummy. And guess who the dummy was? Yes, Tommy. Went there and... Uh, yeah, Rhea had Tommy wear earplugs. And, you know, she pinched his back and he'd open his mouth and she made a video of it. He asked her to marry him. Uh, and, yes, he said yes. She got on video, so he can't back out. So, uh, yeah, everybody is telling Tommy uh, Rhea's plan to get married and he's denying it. And she's got it on video. Anyway, Rhea is out of town for the weekend. He explains to everybody, Al and the guys at work. Uh, <clears throat> and, uh, oh, here's my little kid. So I'm going to my sugar check. Apparently you need a large amount of sugar to grow a new body. Let's see how well it works. So uh, You can kind of see a little light in there. Slowly but surely, brown port on its way out. Blue part, bigger bluer circles growing in through and around. I can't always tell where I'm pointing the flashlight because I, I can't look at the screen. It's hard to look at the screen. So you're going to get better videos of the stigmata eye on, the, on this side. My left. <clears throat> oh, check it out. Check out the Tommy Parables at youtube.com slash DNFD series. That's D-N-F-D-S-E-R-I-E-S. -E you can also find 20,000 of these things. Download, print them out. You're going to find something you like in 20,000. Skyscrapers, skylines, flowers. Um, sunsets, clouds. So do that. 
And I'm preparing to go to a doctor's appointment tomorrow morning. Yeah, they've, uh, they did the blood work, uh, oh, last week, uh, whenever, within the past week and a half. Uh, and I'm supposed to go in to uh, get the results. So I'm going to try to make this Tommy quick. Tommy uh, tells everyone that Rhea had to go away. And he uh, had to fend for himself in the kitchen. See, his nose is kind of blackened at the very tip. And his lips are all kind of red. Well, they're always red, aren't they? A little redder than usual and swollen. And he said he had to cook for himself, and uh, Mia said, well, why didn't you just uh, go to the cat's got your tongue and want some more? And Tommy kind of grumbles back, and they have to ask him, what? what? And he speaks up, and he said, uh, it was closed for renovation. They're fixing the place up, and... Yeah, Adam... He's busting a whole lot of folks around. Adam says, well, well, Tommy, why didn't you just, uh, he does a cat kind of call. Why don't you just go to the the 10th fly or the cat, uh, catwalk? Why don't you just go there and, you know, get some cat? The catwalk's kind of like a, uh, yeah, a strip club that serves cats. So it's a very good place for Tommy. And also uh, the uh, tenth life. Cats have nine lives. Tenth life is dinner. Oh, you know how Orientals they love the cats and the dogs. And no, not as pets. Uh, dinner. Ask them if they're honest. They'll tell you. And the tenth life, they walk around those skimpy cat outfits, and they, you know, the cat walk. Uh, they take off those skimpy outfits. And Rhea doesn't like either of those places. She raises the roof every time she hears about them. Yeah, it didn't even go to the catwalk, but uh, with the uh, the ten five, uh, she swore she found a. She got a. They got a complimentary dinner there from Katie, the cat cook at the cat got She time to want some more, and they went and. Rhea swore that she got a cat hair in her her cake her her cat you know uh, cat skitty cat steak remember to check and post the five you know where my fun stuff ends when you can't reach me by phone and don't know when this phone won't be allowed to work to make that video whatever you get when you don't get me 424-229-4140 not one flight 93 check and nine years of asking no certified mail no not certified mail either you're gonna make a you know certified mail make a video at first and yeah it takes five minutes to make a video of organized crime you got the time stamp on your phone you got the number dialed When it doesn't match up with the call records, my call, I make videos of my call log, and some of you out there can get, actually get their call records uh, through your job or whatever else you might do. But, uh, yeah, I post them at youtube.com slash DNFD series, uh, where you can also find the Tommies and, yes, the uh, Tommies and the Stigmata Eyes, yeah. But, uh, Yeah, it takes five minutes. You got the timestamp on your phone, you got the number dialed. And yeah, whatever boring thing you get, phone ringing, error message, business signal, that's not going to be boring. If you need the fireman, place paramedic, so make a video of that phone not working as you try to call me. 424 229 4140. Call me up in front of reporters, network news anchors, local news anchors. 
any and all in the public eye, mayors, governors, senators. What do you know about this? Why can't I reach this man? We know it's my phone not be allowed to work. What are you doing about that? Yeah, all of those folks are supposed to do something about it. The reporter is supposed to report on it. The mayors and governors are supposed to look into that kind of thing. The senators. Whatever boring thing you get, it's not going to be boring. We need to fire and place paramedics to make a video of it now. And yes. Well, that was that one, wasn't it? Except a different, uh, different thing, I think. Uh... When you call up countless other customers and whatever you, you even if you don't call up customers, you use your phone for something with your work. So the next time you call up countless other customers and you're getting that phone ringing or miss a business ticket, well, you leave a message. I don't get it. You don't show up on the call or I do my call log. Next time you're doing that, yeah, it's your Gates livelihood so Gates and Google can get the business. Whoever's a big name in the business can get the business instead of you. Now let me finish up because I was supposed to make this quick. I got to order a lam laminator again. Yeah, Walmart doesn't want to print out big fives, so make sure you make a video of your attempt to get these things. Download and uh, print them out. Print, try to print them out through Walmart. Ask Walmart, how do you reach Milton by phone when my phone's not allowed to work when I try to call him? I don't know when else my child's life on, my family's life on, my life on won't be allowed to work because of what you're actively a part in. They lost the uh, thing to the laminator. The, um, the record of my purchase through my phone, 424-229-4140, my address, 4260 Eagle Rock Boulevard, and my emails. They couldn't use anything to look up me buying this from them. It was a stage of men's folks being incredibly obvious and, and Stone Cold's Mean Street Fiction. I hear a lot of folks are getting stocked up on popcorn because there's going to be consequences for that for a long time to come. That's our fiction. I got to buy a new laminar. Let's 30 some, give or take. You gotta make a video of my uh, protection plans now. Because Walmart's active participation in America's Hijack Lifeline. Call me up in front of the managers. Coast to coast and beyond. They don't, uh, they've outgrown America's borders and Americans' values. Truth. The fair play. Good business practices. They've outgrown that. So make a video of you trying to call me in front of them. Especially those corporate folks. What do you know about this? When else will my phone not be allowed to work because what your company is not only taking part in, but actively taking part in? Get their reactions and post. We the people must be the reporter. Do that. Now, uh, back to Tommy. Let me finish up real quick so I can order my laminator, so I can get my laminating stuff in next uh Next Friday, Saturday, next weekend. I'm um, cutting these stuff, this stuff out as we speak. So hopefully it will be. Oh, I've already got enough to uh, laminate. But let me. Uh, yeah, Tommy. He tells everybody he had to fend for himself, and that's how the nose got burnt, and then the lips got burnt. He. Uh, they. Yeah. Adam asked, why didn't you just go to the cat scouts and tell him I want some more? And Tommy said, well, I don't know how she did it, but she's got, uh, she knows someone with electronic skills at work, I think. Anytime Tommy, with his phone, goes anywhere near cat, the tenth life or the catwalk, it lets Rhea know and she calls him up. What, do you, what the hell are you doing near that place, Tommy? So he had to fend for himself. Uh, and uh, why do I think the Mormons had something to do with all that high-tech uh, shit going on? Remember, wallpaper your neighborhood with those big fives. When you see them praying, P-R-E-Y-I-N-G on your neighbors, they too, as well as Walmart, can reach me by phone. Look for the Mormon in front of ones. 
and wallpaper your neighborhood. Oh, send them to that guy who who knows his stuff and will ask them, well, how do you breach Mountain by phone when else my phone not be allowed to work? Call it the designated house in the neighborhood to get you written off the Mormon's sales room. How do you reach this man by phone? Look for the red phone in the uh, youtube.com slash dnfd series. That's where the Mormon show up on my caller ID, my call log, and ask him how you do that. When else will my phone not be allowed to work? Get their reaction post. Every missionary they got, every a bishop, every false prophet, uh, get it. Uh, get the reaction post. Be the reporter. Oh, I showed you that. Uh, and Tommy, you know, he tells everyone I was in the kitchen and I, I was frying up can, can, a can burger, a cat burger, yeah. You know. Bria had some in the fridge. He says, put the patties on the stove. Fry them up, he was frying up, and he went to go turn off, and he had no hands, no arms. Go turn it off, and he kind of turned, and it burned his nose. And he didn't learn anything from that, because the next day, he, he had, she had left something for him to put into the oven in the fridge. All he has to do is take the pan out, put it in the fridge, so I'm a cat loaf, I don't know. And it was easy enough putting it in because the oven was cold. But when he smelled, he got to laughing at the Three Stooges, his favorite show, and he can watch it as long as he wants when Rhea's out of town. He was laughing and guffawing, and then the smoke detector went off. And um, he smelled the cat burning, and he ran in there, and he said, oh, I couldn't just let the cat, the cat burn. So he quickly grabbed it. Uh, he tried to use a pot holder, but it didn't work out too good when you're using it with your mouth. And he burned his lips. And so that led to, uh, you know, Al was at the bar and he finds out all oh, what happened over the weekend. He said, well, don't worry about it, Tommy. Here's a straw. And Tommy uh, has a drink at the bar there and Hezekiah comes over and he says, Hey, Tommy, did you hear about the Chinese terrorists? And Tommy said, No. And Hezekiah, yeah, almost guy, he says, uh, Yeah, they told him to go blow up a car and he burned his lips on the tailpipe. I'm Melton, son of a carpenter and Mary. The daddy carpenter worked on skyscrapers. Mom, Mary Ann. I'm the son of a carpenter, Mary. I get to make parables. Yeah, it was a different. It had the flower image at the bottom. I knew it. Come see me in person. Have what we'll travel. If you see me out uh, rolling down to my doctor's appointment tomorrow, I should have this with. It'll tell you where to find my nightly parables. Hey, just tell me to take a photo of you with my phone. And uh, yeah, that's a, a phone photo, what I just uh, designed in there. I'll take a picture of you with my phone and uh, turn you into some nice graphic art. Come see me. Have whip with travel. Show me that perfect place to build a Jesus is Immaculate House here on earth. Best people to start building with. Well, I'm going to have to take my Sudoku. I want to, I want to go to Target on the way back and I always have the backpack with uh, Yeah, Always a big hassle of carrying and set, so I'm just going to take the the book with the Sudoku in it, and I do the Sudoku as I wait, and then hopefully just run across the street, get what I need. Uh, no cat, no. I, you can't buy that stuff at the grocery store, and I don't eat it. That's Tommy. Come see me. Have we we'll travel. Show me the perfect place to build. Jesus is Michael. Has best people start building with. Tear down the great wall of evil. Has this me and all my image are 20 minutes. When you see someone other than me, my changing eyes are out here. We start to build. Be a part of that. Tear down the great wall of evil. That has them going to such extreme and bizarre lengths. To shave seconds to waste three quarters of the day every day. On stupid stuff with that computer in there and this computer out here. 
and laminators breaking that are brand new that is less than a year old get me a thousand disciples they can worry with that stuff a thousand disciples tear that great wall to be what has just me and all this imagery a thousand disciples by my side going out to a thousand points of life worldwide to build a better world to build Jesus's immaculate house here on earth called opportunity house if you want opportunity for all kinds of businessmen from all kinds of walks of life and background I just have to tell you it's Jesus's immaculate house because it's in the fine print come see me have we will travel show me that perfect place and kick out the cruts of the amateurs the Chinese great wall of crumbling evil that has them doing that stupid stuff with the laminator and taunting with the uh, having Walmart be my demon sister Lori because that was exactly her style they can't figure it out they don't know that's bizarre as hell that reminded me of my demon sister so damn much yes so I'm gonna mention the big fives and Walmart get your fives printed out there if they they're photos guys they give you a problem at printing photos Tell them you print the devil's photos every day. Why don't you like the military? Why don't you like truth, Walmart? Come see me. Have wit, we'll travel. Let's get started. Building a better world.